Hello and welcome to this episode of The Art of War. Today I'm joined by Liam Spronkin. He's got a, a deck from Nationals. Yep, I got Matt Rogers' top 8 uh, aggro ultimate list. Yep. Which is an interesting take on the hero. Uh, not one we've seen much of by the looks of it uh, from any event really. Mm. Um, playing Sledge of Amberhelm as the main weapon and using tempo turns like Zealous Belting into Sledge uh, for an 11 damage swing. Or E Strike into Pitcher Blue and Tunic for Sledge as well. Mm. So these are big swings you can do. Um, Art of War giving you some of that extra go again to actually go wide. Yep. Um, except in this matchup, we're siding into a slower version of the deck because mm-hmm. you can't race Bolton. Yep. Uh, it does too much damage, and I think the slower version of the deck is also very, very good at interacting with Bolton as well. Yeah, I mean, you just have so much flexibility in, yep. in your arsenal slot and with your um, equipment. Bolton with this and Crown of Seeds is very, very good versus Bolton, not giving that pump. Um, giving him a Frostbite is also. Pretty, pretty, pretty scary, right? Because, mm-hmm. um, you know, I want to be so tight with that unit counter on, on my important turns and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I see you siding out a lot of the aggression, yep. keeping in mind this. Um, storage response might look a little weird to side out, but it doesn't actually block too many relevant things. Blocks um, Valiant Thrusts, uh, Bolting Blade, and um, buffed attacks, but with Plunder Run no longer being legal. Yeah. There's no me- not as many seven attacks to come out of Bolton yeah. that you have to worry about. I was looking through my deck today and realised the plunder runs are in there, so we've got to find a replacement. Hopefully, we get a decent one coming in the Yep, uh, it's definitely a big loss to the deck. Yeah, being able to swing off those plunder run turns, going plunder run via the Vanguard is With your always free insane. Go again, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, you play, um, plunder run, take flight to, into weapon swing or something. Yep. It's pretty crazy, especially when you add in your courageous steel hands or your. Um, the one that you draw a card off. Bolt of Courage. Bolt of Courage, yeah. yeah. It's pretty crazy with Plunder Run, you get those double draws. Mm-hmm. Um, so now it's just taking out because it gets blocked out a little bit too easily with the um, with the shield or the seeds. It's kind yeah. of like the perfect number for him to block. Command and Conquer just doesn't really do much because you could just cycle um, you can just his arsenal, arsenal anyway. Away. And um, no storage responses to really catch off guard with that one. Yeah, and Command and Conquer's always been a little bit of an awkward card in Bolt and it doesn't really... Um, it's a little expensive, basically. It's expensive. You want to play off those red hands a lot. You don't yeah. play many blues or yellows. So having a two-pitch card in the deck's a little awkward. Yeah, and Cataclysm, um, we're going to be rearing at the races, so we're prioritizing setting up our bolting blades over, like, hoarding a bunch of cards in our soul. Yep. If all goes to plan, we should be around one to two soul for most of the game. Yep. Uh, and we've got um, Courageous Steel handout just because it just gets moved by yeah. a plus, lot of Plus things. two is not good enough, especially when yeah. I can just do a three-act yep. and match it. Alright. Oh, I four. win a dice roll. Oh, that's because I didn't Let's ask you to do it. <laughs> what do you want, Daniel? Make I'll start. Soon. Sounds good. Yep, I always want that free charge. So once, Bolton. once in a lifetime event, you can play friends. <laughs> yep, so you just draw your, um, your charge card. That's the ideal. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just go. Take flight, let's go again. This is for two. Uh, mm-hmm. So we're going to buff it, but it doesn't really matter for this one. Yep, yeah, I'm just coming for three. And then, I'm not sure if I want to block six. I don't want to keep, so i got two two of my more important threats in Okanold and Terra Sunder. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to block one of them away already. And both of them are live for turn one. But mm. maybe it's just not worth taking the damage. Maybe just block with an Okanold. It's a hard one to set up. What do you think? Mm. I think one oak old is kind of fine. Yeah. I think I set up the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just pass on pass. Got remembrance, right? Yeah. Or did we? I can't remember. Ah, I I can't remember remembrance. So I am actively thinking about card count, but it doesn't doesn't matter too much. Yeah. I think if we get an equipment piece here, I'm pretty happy. But also, you can just throw away two cards. If I tear asunder. I'm gonna do it anyway. Come on for five. Yeah. Can't throw away two cards because it's got dominate. 
Oh, I guess I'm just lose the two cards from this. Yeah. It's like not a bad thing for Bolton, really, this early. Yeah. At the moment. I'm just going to pitch two cards. I oh, know to pitch straight from hand first. Hand first, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to come up with the Bolt of Courage charge again. Crown of Seeds. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can blow up one of these, no problem. Yep. <coughs> we can block those because we got floating resource, there's no reason not to. And I'm not sure how much I need to cycle this. Well, I don't need to block with it, so I guess I can use one of my two blocks at a time where two blocks good. Yep. I'm just gonna disrupt Daniel a little bit and score a final crush here. Yeah, I forgot my tunic anyway. I'm bad. Yeah, you <laughs> Which block six. Yeah. I'll take three. Need more tunic this time. I'm just gonna get you strike you for seven. You strike seven. Uh, he doesn't do much. I think I value keeping one more card in my deck to one life. So we're gonna go three at this and take two. Yep. Three. Let's come up with the ice wind as well. Yep. It's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, that's why this game plan is so good versus Bolton. Is you can't really abuse that tuning counter if you give him a frostbite on this turn. Yeah. And then he would have to one armor block it if he wants to use one card. And Bolton on three cards is very different to Bolton on four or five cards. Yeah. Um. But with no Arsenal set up, it might be fine for you to just try and set up an Arsenal and make that tuning counter better. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking through. It's pretty good if I don't have an ice. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not worth double armoring this one, though. There's yeah. too many relevant on hits in Guardian. I thought about that immediately. I'm like, I could double armor, <laughs> but that's also the worst fly I could make. Yeah. <laughs> 38 life, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just tricky which one I want to block with. I think my inexperience with the stick's showing, actually. I'm supposed to leave in one E strike as a Snapdragon's target. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you get to pick up a deck for the first time and not really think about sideboard. Yeah. Because I'm fairly sure there's no other targets. Oh, there's ice. Oh no, I think counter cost two or something, doesn't it? Yeah. The four is so annoying. <laughs> Just double block it. <laughs> I might do. Just double block. Yep. And you set up your arsenal for next turn. That's the plan, yeah. I'll just tune an arsenal. Yep. Well that's a... Uh... Hope he doesn't get anything too crazy. Uh... Going to Crown of Seeds. Yep. Cycle that away. This is fine. We're just happy disrupting Daniel here, I believe. As well. Do you want to teach you about bullying? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, this one can't be double blocked. Yeah. Terrasondo really hurts. I 
just scroll Kappa. Yep. Getting a card, especially a red um, tank flight, it's pretty tank good. Tank flight is very, very good there. I'm going to Chinook. I'll play another red tank flight. So the cards I had on the other turn were two red tank flights. Yep. Um, so looking at. Not a lot happening here, but we're going to take four. Um, the take flight is generally a free attack. Yep. It's very similar to when you lead well in the Scar for a Scar with the older style decks. Yep. Um. I'm just coming up with a bolt of courage for three. Not charging? I've already charged. Oh, you have to. No blocks attack reactions? Uh, no attack reactions. I'm gonna ice react. For the soul top? Yep. Yeah. And then uh, fight for scene. That's pretty good. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. So I think my plan is keep you off Arsenal as much as possible. Um, maybe I should get that card on top. That's right. How much do you care about pure damage? Probably not a lot at all, right? Yeah, probably not. Just gonna over pitch to one as well. Hmm. The high seconds are really annoying for this deck. <laughs> I think this is why we put down um, Bolton's competitive deck for a lot of the Tales of Aria season. These yeah. style of decks are a real struggle. Without it though, I think the deck's very, very close to being very good. good. It was always almost fast enough to uh, race Seeds of Agony Chain, so there's got to be something there. Yeah. I'll just block two. Take two. Get yep. out of this way. I'll just take one up. Hmm, slight miscalculation there. Was that? I just didn't quite figure out that I would need that card to pitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> the classic As frostbite issue. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, yeah, true. Also on pass and set up. Sure. I'm gonna cycle my arsenal. Yep. I'm gonna rouse the ancient, show you fifteen. Take seven. Sure. Then you're putting his arsenal like that. I'm just gonna throw out a naked disable. Gosh, man, just leave me alone for one turn. <laughs> I'm trying to assemble Exodia here. <laughs> it's just not happening. Put those um, lemons away. <laughs> <laughs> Let me play the game, bro. <laughs> I remember we played um, Bravo vs. Bolton quite a lot. Yeah. And uh, I, remember, I remember quite a few games you'd hit me with a disable and I'd set up yeah, Lemon yeah. on the bottom together because of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, get let one go to the bottom and you pitch the other. Yeah. Um, I just let it go to the bottom. <laughs> it's probably good enough anyway. I'll just take seven. Sure. Don't 
Do a Chinook. Express Lightning. Charger. Yep. A couple ways I could play this turn. Um, this is not threatening anything. I don't care if I get Courageous Steel Handed, I don't think. If I really need to, I can patch to react, but I'm just going to take four here. I'm going to Beacon. Uh, and give a go again. Yep. And get a Lumina. Yep. <laughs> this is unfortunate. So here's where I'd really like Ice Cards. But don't have any. That's a bit fortunate. Mm -hmm. um, and don't have an Arsenal card. I was counting on that being good enough to stop the double Lumina. But it would have been triple. Would have been triple. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> would have been triple Lumina. Uh, yeah, so we don't change anything here. We still take five. I would have shown you Exodia. <laughs> yeah. So you maybe put Lumina on top and I drew a second Lumina alongside it. And then yeah. second hand. And then I drew a V cut. <laughs> and it was like, this is, i got to get there. <laughs> so this is where my ice cards are best when Daniel does this. You put one back and you can't double Lumina. Yeah. But you have to have the ice card to do it. That is true. Ah, oh, so we're just coming for five. So here's a turn where we just, uh... Is the I can't remember for Bolton, is it plus one for the turn or plus one? Yeah, plus one. Oh, I think it's just plus one each time. Yeah, it's just for the attack, right? Yeah. It's so plus one while defended by an attack action card. Yeah, so it's just for that attack. Unfortunately, that's a yellow earth card, so I can't do much with that. Could react. Spending two cards there is not very nice, though. I think we're just going to lose two cards. Yeah, we're right. Yep. And five. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll get hit by one. That's fine. Act. Come over for five. Of course. <laughs> one miss. There's not a lot in the deck. No. So oh, it doesn't go over banish, does it? I uh, guess but. Yeah. Right. Cool. So yeah, so I'm checking the pass. And luckily you didn't get too much soul, so we're not a whole yeah. lot of danger here. It's when they hit that trap or luminal or double luminal and get five or six soul that you are really in danger from another beacon. Yeah. Because we've got to keep the good times rolling while you're off your tuna counter. Off your arsenal, I mean. Yep. Use my tuna. I'm going to take flight and charge. Yep, and this one's going to be fun. Taking three. Yep. We'll go bolt of courage. Yep. Uh. I guess I am in danger of a courageous steel hand with this. I could just block with this. And we're sitting on four. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, we'll block like that. Yep. Can't get a go again without breaking. So yeah, we'll just pass one pass. We'll take the equipment. Yeah. I would have liked to ice react that, but um, if I ice react, yeah. then you can courageous still hand it and then I get yeah. really blown out. So that's not the play there. But we have the most miserable card for Bolton to ever play verse. This. Go away. I actually, I pitch the other way. Because you have to pitch a card to win as well, that's nice. You don't have to pitch to this. So we went as well before. Because you're going to do nothing next turn <laughs> anyway. I've got the secret tech for the, for the late fridge. But just be lucky and drop your one potion. <laughs> <laughs> There's one potion in the deck and this is the turn to draw it. Nice. <laughs> That's it. I did draw the two ice cards. This is going away this turn. It'd be really nice if I did. <laughs> yeah, sure would. Sure would. Um... I just would I prefer at the bottom first, probably those. Disable for seven. 
Oh, we've got enough team to get back on our Arsenal card here at least. Shield. You take one? Yep. Uh, you pitch three. It's <laughs> oh, a lot worse, actually. No, I you can use your that. tunic counter. <laughs> <laughs> one resource. <laughs> I just block like this instead. Yeah, sorry. Just hold on the other one. Yeah. I just take two. Uh, you should be one higher, I believe. I take I think, two, right? I thought you took one off already. Oh. I thought you were going to to start the turn. I'm not sure. Oh. Any, any thoughts, Greg? You don't know? I mean, it looked like you took, it, it, looked like you took it off. Like, uh, like when, you said, when you said that you thought he'd already taken it off, I thought he'd like, just taken it off. Oh. I, I thought I was on higher life, or lower life, at the start of the turn. I can't remember. Oh, no, I'll just leave it there. Doesn't matter too much. Two. Seven. Seven. Are we cycling this arsenal? What else are we doing? So we're kind of playing for our remembrance. Cycling arsenal kind of sucks. Uh, we're going to take. We might do it on our turn. We'll take three though. I'm just gonna see the Hmm. Since he's such a hard card for Bolton. Yeah, you also have to be aware of Pummel on this turn. Um, with me opting to keep an extra card. And one resource, one resource here. If I'm blocking it, the pummel doesn't actually hurt me that much. <laughs> That's true. Well, you lose your arsenal card. The arsenal yeah. loss. Well, but, like, I could just be crown of seizing this way and getting a better card in arsenal. Yeah. So, like, even if you play around the pummel, I do get to arsenal it. Yeah. So it's, it's not good either way. Also, you probably side up pummels out. Make it, man. They've got enough disruption in this matchup. You need some damage to push through. Yeah, I'll just block six. Yeah, I'm going to pummel it. You got it. Yeah. It's all right. Did you take four? Any discard? Yeah, it is. Oh, what is the bolt of courage? Beacon. Yeah. Yeah. So I got one card left. Yep. And just. Yeah, I'll do nothing on bolt and card. Chinook, Chinook Arsenal. Mhm. Mm and draw up. This end is not good. We're gonna cycle our arsenal away. Yep. Is that better? Well, I got really punished for how I patched that actually. Oh, it actually doesn't matter. Can't afford it anyway. Go again and draw two. It's not the best out of war, but we're trying to get some pressure on. We don't want to give Daniel a free turn. Yep. Um, it's not terrible. I'm going to sense at you. They're really hard at this stage in the game. Actually. I like how much pressure this deck puts on your opponent's arsenal. Yeah. It's very really good at consistently doing it. Pretty annoying. Um, Whether it's through ice pitching or through actual cards which destroy it. This is so sad. <laughs> so we go three, four, five, six. Oof. Wind as well for four. That's good. No ice, but unfortunately. Sadly. If I hit the ice card, it's very good. Yeah. Actually, I'll just sink below it. Yeah. 
Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess, if you had the single eye, so. I'm thinking about... Yeah, so single eye is actually kind of what makes my hand awkward. Although, yeah. the Winter's Whale well, does as well. Um, if I don't have it. Yeah. That's good enough. Yep, that's fine. Cool. I'm just gonna tune a V. Total S Yeah, so I double V in the, the sink below, so it's... We don't have sink that card. It doesn't quite go. I will give it a go again. Yep. And we'll come in for four. Do I hear about four vanilla damage? You could give it a go again and hit me with Bolt of Courage, that'd be worst case scenario. Um, I don't get the feeling it was a Bolt of Courage you arsenaled. Maybe one Lumina on a better turn. I think I've gone through quite a lot of them. Yeah. I would also like to end up with an Arsenal card. I think I'm happy mm. taking four here. Yeah. All the red bolts are gone. Yep. Cool. Yeah, that's it. Two. Saw shield. Take three? Yep. Yep. Check up Chinook. We're just coming in for four a charge. Yep. I still haven't drawn my remembrance. I'm not sure which <laughs> I'd rather keep my hand here. It's probably these two tenements. Sensei. Yeah, that's the last one. Yep. Yeah. I think that's maybe a mistake to uh, take out one remembrance. It's probably better than the one out of four. I block six. Yep. Turn two. I'm just gonna e-strike for seven. Uh -huh. See if I can draw my remembrance. Um, hope it hasn't been shuffled to the bottom of the bottom. That card sucks. <laughs> um, I'm gonna cram. Yep. Actually, I should cram before blocks, but that's fine. So blocking five. Uh, I'm gonna go three eight as well. Yep. yep. What's about? I think this one might get I think I'll take the swan. Brave Forge Braces here. I think I just take it. Okay. Give you a first play. Yeah. Maybe I'm underestimating how good this card is. Maybe I should keep it. Tuchinoko. Just gonna pitch three. I seem to be paying for this. Yeah. Just gonna board of courage. Uh, no blocks. Oh, I'm gonna react with remembrance. Sure. And uh, courage is still hand. So put that to one. Sorry, five. Yep. That's fine. And I'm gonna. Yep. Crown. We want our red. Why can't I find cards now? <laughs> so 
So I'm getting back to my pitch deck now, which is very powerful. Well, yeah. I've been back in it for like two or three turns. Yeah. I needed to say this, the remember it's like three turns, yeah. four turns it's been ago. Very, very late. It's yeah. in the bottom like 12 cards. It's very, very late, yeah. yeah. A bit game losing, but mm -hmm. that's the way it is sometimes. Uh, that's my experience on Rhino recently, is draw to your Blood Rush Bellows in the bottom of your deck. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I get to open up Fuse. Yeah, really so I put good. these together ages ago. Um, we come for nine. Dominate. On the bottom of the deck. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> it's also random. For this yeah. Fun. Just a lot of damage too. Yeah. So you block a single card here, I imagine you get yeah. to Arsenal. I'm going to block five. Can you take... I'm pretty sure it's not worth using that if no. you use it. Yeah, I'll take it's five. It's five. It's five vs four, and yeah, you're gonna block out. The you're gonna see element. an on-hit effect at some point. Yeah. So, if you're not stopping, it's not worth doing. I will just take this down. Yep. On the bottom. <laughs> oh, God damn. That hurts. Oh, my turn. I'm just hustling. Oh, sorry, I'm hustling a card. Is that one? Yep. Yeah. Um. My hand's rather good, as you probably know. <laughs> I have been putting my good cards to the bottom for a while now. Yeah. We get to Channel Lake Frigid. Open up with Fused. <laughs> so it's nine again, isn't it? Yep. If... So I can go Chinook. No, you can't. So rude. So I'd have to go e pot response, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to e pot giving you one resource. So I can block seven. Um, we'll just pitch a card. Because Tuna get, gets you net zero here, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. We'll block. Six is probably still better. You get a one? Get a one, yeah. I mean, you can use the armor whenever I attack, so. Yeah. That's, the only thing that hurts you is a pummel, like for that play, but yeah, like, exactly. I don't think you're beating a pummel for the rest of the game anyway. No, I just lose on the spot. Yeah. So. Yep. So you block that? Yep. So I'll take, uh, three. take three. Yeah. I go to Arsenal and put a cannon on my thing. I'm just going to pitch one and take you for four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, we want to find something to do, so I think we're actually double crown of seed, or well, like crown of seizing to find new cards. Yep. Uh, which means I shouldn't pitch this card actually. I should pitch a two block. Because I might still block with the three block. Yep. Did not find something to do. Um, maybe there's a misplay. I'm actually supposed to crown of seeds on my turn. But I'll, I'll tell you what in a minute. Yeah. But so we're taking one. one. Yep. Yep. Oh no, uh, crown seeds, sorry. Yeah, but I get plus one. You no, you don't, it. you didn't charge. Oh yeah, that's true. It's yeah. weird. Yeah, the cap was in pitch. <laughs> yeah. So the reason I'm supposed to crown seeds on my turn is so I can pitch two ice. Yeah. Um I was holding two ice cards at the start. I think we're gonna be slightly inefficient here. And just keep the pressure on you. We're gonna break a crater fist. We don't want as well. That doesn't work. Yeah, no. Um, it's to keep the channel. Oh, okay. So we're sacrificing one armor for another turn of channel like Frigid, which I think is worth it when you're on one. That um, means you can yeah. never really turn the game around with so few cards in hand. Hold the fan for six. Sure. Yeah. Uh, two counters. We're just passing. Yep. It's not a whole lot I can do. Yeah. Um, how many defense reactions have you been through? Most of Most them. Most of them. There's two soul shields in a thing. Three? Yeah. Yeah, all three of them are gone. Any other shunts? Two. I think there might be one more shunt. Okay. That's fine. It just doesn't matter, I don't think. 
because we just glacial first deep and confused. There's one more sink. Yeah. Nine dominate. That's just gonna get me anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a sink, but that's it. Yeah, that's why this one was the only one that mattered. Yeah. Because you can go six, seven, eight card from hand. Oh no, you can't even do card from hand. Yeah. Yeah, you just did. It is very impossible to get things going. <laughs> yeah. So the ice reacts are brutal for this deck. Yeah. Maybe and I should have just gone with the cataclysms, seeing as I got it's actually let me play the match up. You actually get a lot more soul. Yep. Because you can't actually capitalize on it either. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's something I didn't think about. But this is why you play test, right? Yeah. It's like to learn these things. So against other slow decks like Bravo, you don't usually build up much soul because um you don't get get disrupted like every other turn, not every turn. <laughs> yeah. So I think for mistakes in sideboarding, I, I'm supposed to leave one of these in. I yeah. uh, just have Sam Dragons. Um, this, I actually think I was wrong about wanting. You just don't need it. You stack yeah. it, you get to your pitch stack, um, you run Daniel Adder cards fast enough anyway, it doesn't really matter. Even if he's playing like two Remembrance, I think I win that game yeah. on card count. I think there are some couple points where I could have played a little bit better um, in regards to pitch stacking, but not seeing my Remembrance thing. until. You expect to shuffle cards. at some point, so thinking about it in the first half yeah. of the game is not really relevant. Yeah. You're also gonna um, not seeing the remembrance to twelve cards is like pretty pretty brutal. Yeah, it means you can't draw to a loman with a relevant number of cards in hand. You have to use yeah. all your equipment before then. Yeah. And also, yeah, I'm, you're I'm having very the on the on my triple limiter. It's like ah, come on. Dude. I'm very impressed at the amount of pressure this deck managed to put on your opponent with like not actually a lot of pressure cards. Yeah, I mean, um, I think at the same time, I'm just, this deck is just especially prone to it, because it plays off very low resource counts, yep. huge, um, it wants to keep a card, um, there's three or four card hands where if you take one card away, it really brutally murders it, mm -hmm. and you're also playing super far t into your arsenal, so it just kind of leans into all of those avenues you're attacking. Yep. Um, yeah, it's definitely the reason you've seen a lot of people put down Bolton for the yeah. road to national season and national seasons. Um, I don't think we'll see much of a resurgence with it um, through Everfest and Pro Tour season. OTK might have some legs. OTK is in Sabres? Yep. Yep, that's probably reasonable. Just think the new Oath card is, is pretty crazy. Um, yeah, it's like another Lumen on real Lumen stands. You have to have two Luminas yeah. for it to be really good, I guess. Yeah. So it's like the third copy of Lumina that you can draw to. On oh, one Lumina, it's still like six damage, isn't it? Yeah, but. And, do you good. really want to be doing that on Sabres Bolton? Because you have no, to break coverage. No, you're not. Um, I think you're not using it. You're using it for that that one turn. But I think there is a a Bolton deck that just sets up, um, just preying on other mid range decks. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've always enjoyed Bolton as a hero though. He's really he's fun. fun. Yeah, he does just struggle against some of these really turtley decks. Yeah, he was always able to keep up with the fastest aggro decks though. So I think there's an angle there to show his power. Yeah. Um, you just. He's not the easiest deck to pilot. Yeah. You sit there for like, ten, you sit there for two turns and don't do a whole lot. You kind of charge and attack for four. He's like aggro, but he's not broken. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind he's of kind he's of, kind of aggro combo. Yeah. Because you like set up for these third turn combo turns every third every turn at counter turn. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see what happens to him. Uh, probably needs a re revisit of the deck. More potions probably not the worst thing. Yeah, I think you could probably maybe but he some doesn't, kind of hybrid build. He's also missing a lot of support from Everfest. Um, no light cards is really rough. Uh, you want to see mostly light cards to make sure your luminous don't miss, as, as you saw yeah. in that game. Yeah. But that is what it is. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so I think he's probably not going to be super duper relevant for the next set, but I expect I think this deck is very, very still well positioned. Crazy. Yeah. He'll probably struggle against the prisms of the world. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if Matt Rogers can't beat in the finals and nationals, <laughs> yeah. then uh, who can, right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, the Prism has natural predators as well. Uh, Rhino's looking a little more popular for that. Yeah, Prism uh, is actually a deck that Bolton this is a does good deck. fare very yeah. well against. This is a good deck into Prism. Just go white aggro is hard to deal with yeah. out of the Prism side of the matchup. Yeah. Um, Chain, I think, is very, very good versus Prism. Yeah. As much as I know you like Prism, I kind of wish you'd fall out of favor because I really want to play with some of those warrior cards. <laughs> 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 yeah. But I don't want to play that match up. Uh, yeah. It's miserable. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. I'm hoping, um, I keep saying this, but I'm hoping mid-range comes back in force for this next set. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think we're going to see a pull between the really slow decks, Prism preying on them, and then the mid-range decks that prey on Prism. Yep. So, yeah. Um, should be an interesting meta. And, mm. yeah. And we'll mm. see what the Pro Tour brings, or Pro Tour qualifies for the start. Yeah. Yeah. Exciting times so far. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks for don't, watching. And, don't, uh, don't fancy a trip to the US? <laughs> not yet. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe and subscribe to our Patreon if you like our content. Yeah. Now that we're back and running. Cool. Thanks for See you next time. <laughs>